This is probably the most important part of the program. At this point, we're going to electronically file the return and make sure that you as a preparer get paid for your work. So here at the e-file screen, I'm going to select the federal return type. In other words, how does the taxpayer wish to receive his or her refund? If I click on the drop down, you see I have some choices here. So anything with the abbreviation for one of our banking partners, or in my case, Refund Advantage, in front of it means that I'm adding a bank product. My fees will be subtracted from the client's refund. If I don't add a bank product, I'm going to select Electronic Mail here and click Save. Then this warning message pops up. And we've had preparers, we've had clients who bypass this message thinking that they were adding a bank product in order to collect their fees later have been sorely disappointed this return is not a bank product you should collect your fees before e-filing the return remember I marked it as an emailed check so I'm going to close this warning message and we'll go back and instead of electronic mailed I'm going to choose refund advantage check print ERC So I'm going to click Next, and here our prepare fees would pop up here. If I had prepare fees entered in my configuration, they would automatically pop up. What I can do, I can enter my prepare fees on the fly if I wish. I can also enter my client's email. The taxpayer PIN, the ERO's PIN automatically fill. I can click Next. I'm asked how I wish to file my state returns. The return type, I selected electronic mail for the state. But again, I could send the state return through the bank if I wish. I'll click Next. The program asks me, do I have my 7216 bank consent to disclosure signed by the taxpayer? We'll go ahead and say yes on that. I have the option to send a text message to the client when the check is printed. I'll leave that at no for now. I can click Next. And now I'm at the bank application information. Phone numbers are already filled. And here I need to fill in some taxpayer identification information. I'll choose driver's license, the ID number. the issue date and the expiration date and the issue state will select Georgia and I'll click Next. This gives me the third party designee information as the preparer. I'll click Next. For the state ID I can copy the taxpayer ID information from the bank ID and I'll click Save. This takes us to the submission page and we'll go over the submission page in a separate video. And so we've briefly gone over how to properly set up the return for electronic filing market for a bank product. And again in a subsequent video we'll go over the submission process. How do we actually e-file the return? Thanks for watching.